Hi everyone, this is Sarah from System Dynamics, and today I want to share with you some do's and don'ts for crafting your online presence. It is undeniably true that the internet has revolutionized the way we communicate, interact, and do business. So it's important that you are staying up to date with the latest business strategies, including online marketing. A solid foundation of online marketing is an effective online presence, which is what I'll be helping you with today. So let's get started. Online marketing can sometimes feel like shouting into the void, but an easy way to combat that feeling is to nail down your target audience. Once you figure out who it is you're trying to reach, do some research to find out what interests your audience and content that they may want to see from you. Consider your customers' needs, wants, and pain points to create a content strategy that speaks to them. Knowing how to communicate your services to your potential clients can help increase your visibility and sales. When designing your website, email blasts, or any other communications that may be going out to potential customers, keep it simple. Of course you want your online presence to look great, but keeping everything user-friendly is even more important. You can have the prettiest website on the internet, but if a potential customer can't figure out how to use it, it's useless. This also applies to your text or copy. Avoid using too much industry jargon. Potential clients may not always be aware of industry specific terms, so it's best to keep your content simple and accessible. Ease and efficiency should always be the most important thing when it comes to designing your online communication. From profile pictures to social media handles, your online presence and brand identity should always be consistent. Brand identity is an essential part of any successful business or organization. It is the combination of visuals, content, and messaging that together create a cohesive and distinctive representation of you or your company. It's what makes customers recognize and remember you instantly. A unified brand identity can help create a greater sense of credibility and transparency, as well as make it easier for potential customers to find information about your business through both search engines and social media. Curating your brand identity is a feat in and of itself, and honestly warrants its own video. We are always working on more videos like this to help you boost your brand and your business. If you're interested in learning more about how to succeed online, be sure to subscribe to System Dynamics. Social media is an inherently authentic platform, so taking the easy way out when it comes to content and engagement can be detrimental to your online presence. Avoid buying followers or likes. Most social media platforms have a built-in algorithm that looks for spam or spam-like behavior. So buying followers and likes may get you flagged. This applies to plagiarizing content as well. Copyright policies on most social media sites are really strict and breaking those rules could result in suspension or termination of your account. So make sure your content is authentic to you to optimize your success. Measuring your success online is vital to the growth of your online presence. You should monitor the engagement metrics of both your website and your social media accounts. Some of the important metrics to look out for are going to be the reach of your posts, how long people are engaging with your content, and any feedback that you receive, whether through reviews or in the comment section. Social media can be a bit of trial and error, so knowing the performance metrics of your online presence will help you adjust your strategies and improve your conversion rates and visibility. Let's recap. In order to ensure your online presence is effective, you need to understand your audience, develop a consistent brand identity, and measure your success. You also need to avoid overcomplicating your websites and social media platforms and create content that is authentic and belongs to you. Those are all the tips I have for you today, but if you learned something, make sure you give us a like and drop a comment down below. To stay up to date on our latest videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.